Hi and welcome. My name is Cody Lee and this is Cody Lee Fine Arts. This video is going to show how I created this rainy abstract with one concept in mind and that was simply rain. For this painting, I used a canvas that I had already painted on. I used a black and white paint along with some fluid median to spread a thin layer of paint down on the canvas. Even though none of this will show at the end, I believe that it was an important step in the painting process because it gave the canvas a new base to be built upon. After the first layer of the canvas is finished, I go in with some Posca pens and start making some doodles. This helps me get loose and get a feeling for the painting. As you can see, I've started placing down some paint. I actually only used three blues and a white for this painting. I used a primary blue, an ultramarine blue, and a sky blue. The white that I used was titanium white. Using these four paints gave me a variety of color because I would mix each blue with white, and then also I'd mix each blue with another blue. By doing this, I was able to get a wide range of tones and hues of blue for this painting. You can also see that some of the blues had a violet undertone that you can see when white is added to the paint. It's important to always make sure to blow dry between paint layers and so before I start going in with some Posca pens and adding more details, I like to dry all the paint first.
this middle section of the painting, I was being very intuitive about where I was placing paint and I was letting the paint flow. I was switching between a painter's knife and a paintbrush and doing this also helps me not overthink things and helps add in different textures and techniques to the painting. At this point, a lot of details get covered up too or slightly hidden and that adds a lot of depth to the painting that I quite enjoy. At this point, I go in with some larger details because I feel like large details are missing from the piece and I really feel like this brings everything together. So I add these three circles and then I go in on the side and I add in this large swoopy and I really believe this really brings everything together a lot more. At this point, I'm pretty satisfied with the piece, so I'm just adding in some last details to bring everything together and add a little bit more depth. Here's the final piece. I'm quite satisfied with all of the depth and the different textures and the composition of this painting. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up, commenting, or also subscribing to my channel. This is going to help the algorithm push out my video to more viewers and I would greatly appreciate that so, so much. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.